Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Zendaidokai and in this video I'll explain the well-kept secret of Bitwix Compressor Plus Multiband Analysis Compression. And then let's get started. As Bitwig emphasizes, Compressor Plus is not a multiband compressor. It is a multiband analysis compressor. What does that mean? First and foremost, it means that the Compressor Plus is primarily a normal broadband compressor. This means that there is only a single threshold, a ratio, an attack, and a release setting for the entire frequency spectrum. In other words, a setting that always affects the entire frequency spectrum, just like a normal broadband compressor. So in contrast to a multiband compressor, which divides the frequency spectrum in, for example, three bands, low, mid and high, and processes each of these bands with a separate setting for threshold ratio attack and release, a multiband analysis compressor always processes the entire frequency spectrum with one setting for all frequency bands. So how does a multiband analysis compressor work if I can make different settings for the different bands? In fact, it's quite simple. Starting from the basics, a compressor always starts working when the threshold is exceeded and then applies attack, ratio and release to the peak that exceeds the threshold. And it usually only peaks at individual points in the frequency spectrum, sometimes here and sometimes here. And with a standard broadband compressor, this would result in compressing the entire signal, including all other frequency ranges below the threshold. With a multiband analysis compressor, different settings in the different frequency bands can mean that the compressor can react much more flexible to different material. So if I have a more relaxed ratio on attack and release time in the low end and only the low end is currently peaking because there's nothing going on in the higher range of the frequency spectrum, then the compressor reacts with these low end settings. So with a little less compression and slower attack and release times, this can lead to a nicer, more dynamic and cleaner sound. If the high end is then added and peaks over the threshold, the standard settings of the compressor are used again, or even the somewhat stricter settings of the high end. Keep in mind, the settings always affect the entire signal. In other words, all bands are always compressed with the same settings. Only which setting is used then depends on which frequency band it peaks in. This allows the Compressor Plus to react much more dynamically to dynamic material, giving the sound a more pleasant and melodious dynamic here and there. In contrast to a multiband compressor, the compression of the multiband analysis compressor is much more balanced, dynamic and consistent across the entire frequency spectrum, or as it called in Neudeutsch, more musical. So, that's it again. I hope I was able to make you understand the concept of multiband analysis compression. And if you like it, please leave a thumb, comment, subscribe and share the video. My name is Odo Zendaidukai. Thank you for your time and attention. And I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.